today, we're in my favorite place in the world, I think, one of them, the California Coastal Redwoods. This video is gonna be B-roll galore, just gorgeous shots of what the Redwoods are like here in Northern California. But first, we're going into this gift shop, gift, gift shop, this gift shop that I've never been in. Pretty excited. Ugh. Oh, that's awesome. Erica's behind the camera. I wanted to get in front of the camera, but she's like, yeah, we got this for our sticker wall. I know you're filming. No, not. No, see? But I, I, don't. This. I, don't. I know you are, because if I go this way, oh, cool. you do that way. If I go this way. I like following I people with cameras. No, you don't. You don't. <laughs> This is my childhood. This is the camp that we camped at. The camp that we camped at. I said that and I, and I think it worked. That I stayed at as a kid, at least twice a year. Well, at least once a year. We camp right back here. And this visitor center we go to every year. Every year! Don't mean to yell at you, but I'm pretty excited. It's awesome. It's so fun to take my kids here to the same place that I went to when I was a kid. And look, look at this. Don't tell me this isn't the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen. Today's video is about the Redwoods, a place I love. It's near and dear to my heart. And you're looking at the video and you're like, eh, it's nice, cool. It's one of those places, and many places are this way, that you have to be here. You really have to experience it here. You can't show it on video, it doesn't do it justice, it doesn't look like anything special. But when you're here, there's like a magic to the air. It, the step, the, uh, the step, do you understand? The trees here are prehistoric, literally. They're 2,000 years old, many of them. And there's just something about it. The history here, the old ancient history, but also the history of the people that came and, well, cut down all the trees, which is a little bit lame, but there's just, I don't know, I can't explain it. You can't, you can't put your finger on it. But there's something special about the Redwoods. Eric, if people think you're funny, do something funny. Do something funny real quick. Make, pe make people laugh. This here is the ultimate travel vehicle. This thing literally is a carved out piece of redwood, like it's a redwood tree that he carved out and made a, a, like a, basically an RV. Look at this thing. Look at the size of those. This here, builder of this thing. This is his voice. He sounded like different birds and was a top-selling recording artist with Victor Records. It says that the vibrations from his voice put out flames over the radio? How can they guarantee that? Nobody saw it. That's the trick, isn't it? I get it now. He also killed a man with his voice over the radio. So you might look at this massive tree RV and think, how sad that he cut a redwood down to make a home out of. He actually didn't. This was a downed tree that fell naturally that he had built, actually he built it himself, and he did so to protect the redwoods, to travel around in it, do his bird calls, put on shows for people, and try to get the redwoods protected in a time when they weren't at all. They weren't. They weren't protected. Okay? Stop Jeez. spitting on me. That's annoying. Stop. That's <laughs> really annoying. <laughs> This place. Look, look at this little creek. Look at this tree and this bridge and those trees and the ferns and this law and this moss. What are you talking about? What in the world else could you want with the place?
look at this camp. It's amazing, it's beautiful. It's also freezing. We used to come in the spring and like fall, which was the perfect time to come. The temperatures were around 60s, low 60s. Today it's in the 30s. It's really cold, but ah, I just, I can't get enough of it. I love it. Ah, ah. You do that when you like a place. You just get all like, I'm so happy. This is it. This is the camp that we used to stay at, the actual campsite that we stayed at more often than any other one. The other one was down here, and I figured you were like, I wonder what other site they stayed in. That one down there, and also this one. Uh, no, don't film this, don't film this. Okay. okay. It's got a in there, so I want the one piece. Oh yeah, look at that. That's kind of fun. All throughout this park are remnants of the old, ancient, massive trees, which still exist just down the road. We're gonna go there next. But throughout this park, you see these old trees like this, I mean, look at the size of this one. Like, it starts there, and it ends over here. This was actually a cluster of trees. It wasn't actually a single tree this big, but as kids, we used to love these things, because you could put a tent. We actually did this once. We put a tent right here, and you had like your own private little roomed off private space. But then some of these trees that were cut down way long ago, this is really cool. Watch this, watch this. So you take a tree like this, you know, we used to climb up these as kids, and what you'd have is these footholds. You see this? And this, some of them, I'll show you if I can. This one, that's actually a fairly new one. Let me see if I can find a better example. Okay, found one, perfect example. So you see this thing? When they would go to cut down one of these trees with saws, they would put planks of wood inside there and they would stand up on top of these planks of wood and actually cut the tree way up there. And the reason was there was so much debris from the tree that they were cutting, chunks of wood and the sawdust built up around the base of the tree. It would actually fill up the first four, five feet of the tree. If they were to cut too low, they'd have to constantly be moving those chunks of wood and the sawdust and everything out of their way. So instead they would just start the tree cut way up high so that all the debris and stuff would fall down below them. Pretty sad, but a lot of them still exist, which is good because of guys like Kellogg that help protect them. Oh man, as a kid, we used to run down here and play all day long in this creek bed down here and this tree over here. Can you see that bridge over there? Ah, oh, that actually wasn't here when I was a kid, but this tree here, maybe I'll take you to see it. There is what they call a goose pin. The bark on these trees is so huge that fires for the most part don't really bother them too much. They're able to withstand a lot of heat. But what happens is that sometimes if there's a crack in the tree, the fire will get inside of the tree and burn out a huge hole in the middle of the tree. But the tree still grows. It's still alive and well. And so what you have in a lot of these trees are these carved out middle sections of the trees with like these doorways where you can get inside of them and actually stand up in the middle of the tree. And they used to, in the old days, put livestock in there and then gate them off. They'd cover up the front section and keep their animals in there. So they got the name Goosepin. Okay, it's right here. Yeah, right here. My childhood Goosepin. Yeah, isn't that awesome? Look at this. See, it has a doorway, like a hole. It's all burnt out in the middle of this thing has tons of room. I know you can't see anything, but it's all charcoal on the walls and burnt out. Some of these go up like 30 feet. What? It's pretty There's awesome. A banana slug. You saw a banana slug? No, there was the, cause look. Oh, you see the sign from one? Yeah, look down here. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. 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 Look at this, it's been like rainy and cold and damp, but it's dry what inside there. Spot to be. Keep you nice so Z is basically a goose. So they used to put up these, you know, sticks and things to keep their animals oh, okay. inside there, there. there. All right, get, hey, see, all right, get in all there. right, get in there. All right, now. Is that hat not directly out of Grumpy Old Men? to take the road, sister, sing. Imagine all the words becoming real. Together we'll be free. It's not just you and me. <sighs> well, 
we made it back to camp. That was a fun day. Can't beat that place. I'm gonna go into the car, cause it's weird to just like, I'll tell you in a minute. Ugh. That's better. See, I like to talk, let's put you right here. Yes. Ooh. I like to talk normal. Like this is my normal speaking voice. And when you're out there, like, look at this. There's people like, there's somebody, there's somebody, there, there. Like, there, you know, there's just people all over when you're in an RV park, typically. And I don't feel like I can talk in my normal speaking voice because I feel like I have to be kind of quiet and I'm always kind of looking around. But it just feels a little strange. So being in the car is better. Look at our wall of stickers. It's growing. That was a good day. It was beautiful, right? Again, you don't get the full, you don't understand what it looks like. It's so much better than it actually looked. But if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please subscribe if you would. That helps us out a lot. It's kind of your way of saying, I like you. I want more videos by you. So if you feel that way, hit that subscribe button and we will be friends forever. Ow. See you on the next trip. Bye. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs>